now that I have my presentation going, um, one of the coolest things that I want to show you here is something called breakout rooms. Now, breakout rooms is the ability to take a group of participants and break them up into smaller groups. Uh, so you can do a lot of really cool group work. You can do um, little partner talks. You can do small group. There's all kinds of really cool things you can do. So what I can do here is if I click breakout rooms, um, it's going to allow me to assign the participants I have here. I have um, these participants and I can choose how many rooms I want them to be in. So I could either put them um, automatically in rooms or I can manually do it. So in this case, I'm going to say, yeah, I just want to manually do it. And so I'm going to tell it to breakout or two participants per breakout room. I'm going to tell it to create breakout rooms. So it created two of them. There's room one and room two here. Now to simply add somebody to it, all I have to do is click assign and then I can choose who I want to go in this room. So if I want these two people in this room and then I click assign and I want these two people in this room, then these two breakout rooms have been assigned. So these people are in breakout room one. These people are in breakout room two. Now I could rename these rooms if I want. So if I wanted to give it something specific based on what it is that we're doing, I could do that. I could also delete a room if I get too many of them and decide I don't need that many. I can uh, get rid of those as well. And then I can click on it to collapse it if I don't want to see all the names, all the members in it. I can also hover over a name and I can move people to a different room uh, and just shuffle them. Or I could exchange one person uh, from one room to the other if I want. So now that I have my breakout room selected here, I'm going to move this window off to the side and I'll show you why in a second. So um, I like to kind of jockey my windows so I can kind of see what's going on on my screen at once. Um, but the beauty of breakout rooms has to live in this options button here. So when I click options, I have a whole bunch of little check boxes here that I can go through and turn off and on. Um, this first one is going to put people in breakout rooms automatically. Uh, you probably want to check that. If you don't check that, it will ask them if they would if, you, if they would like to join the breakout room and it gives them the ability to say no. This does not give them that ability. It just puts them in there. Um, I can also choose to allow them to return to the main session at any time if I want. So if they have a problem or they need to come back, um, they can do that. Um, they can request help in their breakout room sessions anyway, so you may not want them to come back. You may want them to ask for help and you go to see them as opposed to them coming back to you. Now, um, I have the option here to close breakout rooms automatically um, after a certain time frame. So I'm going to put them in a breakout room for two minutes. And then after two minutes, it will automatically uh, notify them, hey, your time is up. And it's going to bring them back to that main group, which is pretty cool. And I can even give it a countdown to give them a warning. Hey, you're almost out of time. Uh, and I can control how long that countdown is. I'm going to do a 10 second countdown. So once I'm happy with those settings, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to open up all rooms. And when I do that, they get a message that they have all been put in their breakout rooms. So you'll notice they disappear off the top here. And that's because they're over here in these individual rooms. So if I wanted to simply um, check out what's going on in a breakout room, I can join either of these rooms anytime I want just by hitting join. So if I want to see how group one is doing over here, I hit join. And then it says, hey, do you want to join? I say, sure. And then it puts me in a breakout room with just the other members of that group. So now you see just the three of us here in this group. I can check in on them, see how they're doing. Hey guys, how's it going? Everybody's doing okay? Everybody happy? Everything good? You'll notice there's a little timer in the corner that tells them how much time they have. Um, again, they'll get a countdown whenever that uh, happens. If I'm finished with this room and I say, all right guys, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. I'm going to click leave room and then it'll take me just out of this breakout room goes back to the main session and now again um, I can go ahead and choose to jump into these other breakout rooms so I'm gonna hit my breakout room button again and now I'm gonna join group two and see how they're doing I join that group hey guys everybody doing okay here they are I can check on them yep looks like you guys are doing good uh, if you have any questions don't forget you only got about 45 seconds left all right, keep up the good work. And then I'm going to leave this room. And again, I'm going to go back just out of this breakout room, back to the main session. And so here I am back in the main group. Now, one other cool thing I can do in breakout rooms if I want, uh, in this breakout room, I can send a message to everybody. So I could send a message that says, oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, and then whatever it is and hit broadcast and then it'll send that message to everybody um, in all of those breakout rooms so they're going to get that 
Now, I can always close rooms anytime I need to. So if I needed to stop it early and not wait the full time, I can do that. But it looks like my time is just about up. So it says time is up for the two minute. Do you want to close them all now or do I want to give them more time? I can do that and keep them open. But I'm going to say, nope, two minutes is good. I'm going to close them now. Their breakout rooms are going to close and then they're all going to get joined back to this main group. Just takes a second for them to come back. Here they come. And now they are all back in my main group. So again, I can go back to maybe the gallery view and say, all right, guys, how's it going? Everybody good? Everyone, uh, what would you think of this activity? What do you guys think? What was your best part? What was your favorite part? How does this work? Um, and which part do you think worked the best? All right, so you can have all of this going on um, all at one time in that group, which is pretty cool.